Hello boys and girls and welcome back to Saturday Science or Science Saturday. I like Science Saturday. You like Science Saturday? Boys and girls, if you remember last week on Science Saturday, we took a solid baking soda and a liquid vinegar and we added them together and we had a chemical reaction and we made a chemical called, do you remember? Carbon dioxide and we trapped it in the balloon. This week, we're going to continue to talk about properties of matter, and we are going to talk about Ooblet! solids. We are going to make oobleck. We are. We're going to talk about solids and liquids. Now, remember, when you have a solid, it keeps its own shape. So, for example, this container is a solid. It keeps its own shape. When you have a liquid, it fills the, the shape of the container it's in. This water right here is a liquid. If I took this water and I poured it on the counter, it would just go everywhere. It would go all over the floor. Where I take this container here, and I put it on the counter, and it keeps its own shape. Now, the reason we're making oobleck, not only because it's fun, but it has both the properties of a solid and a liquid. It has both the properties, and we're going to show you that in a minute. Now, the cool thing is, oobleck is something you can make at home and it's something that you can make with things you have in your own household. So, the ingredients are super simple. Regular old tap water. You can stand up, Rebecca. Regular old tap water, like you get in your sink. I have one cup. It's in a measuring cup. And I filled it up to the one cup line. This cup holds, this is actually a pint measuring container. A pint is two cups, but I only have one cup in here. And the other ingredient is regular old cornstarch. This is just regular cornstarch from the store. And we're going to need two cups of cornstarch, which is the same as a pint. So I have two cups or a pint in here, and I have one cup of water. And we're going to get them mixed together. And my assistant, Miss Rebecca, is going to mix them together for us. And when we're done mixing them together, we will add some coloring. And then we'll look at some of the properties. So we're going to add some food coloring to make it colored. And we're going to make it purple. We are going to make it purple. And you know, Rebecca, it's funny that you said you want to make it purple because I have blue food coloring. I have red food coloring. I have yellow food coloring. And I have green food coloring. I don't have any purple. Rebecca, how am I going to make purple food coloring? With red and blue. And if you mix red and blue together, you will get the color purple. So we're going to put those aside for now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my two cups of cornstarch. I'm going to put it in this big bowl. Boys and girls, if you want to make this at home, you got to ask mom or dad's permission. You need a responsible adult to help you. None of these are dangerous chemicals, but I don't want you to make a mess in the house. And Rebecca has her father here, so we'll say responsible adult. And I'm going to put two cups cornstarch, and I'm going to put one cup of water, and Rebecca is going to mix these with her hands. So she's going to carefully mix up this oobleck right now with her hands. So she's going to go ahead and mix that, and we're making a mixture. We're mixing that liquid, the water, and the solid cornstarch together, and we're going to make our oobleck. Now, Cornstarch is pretty cool. When you touch it, it has this like real soft feeling. And Rebecca's mixing it up right now. And how's it looking? Oh, it's starting to get pretty hard already, isn't it? I can do it. Let's see. Well, I'm not as much, I don't really want to take it from you. I just want to show the boys and girls some of that consistency. How You see how it kind of looks like it's hard? And then as I hold it, it kind of melts in my hand like a liquid. It's pretty cool. Now. Yeah, Rebecca just said, I think we need more water. And you know what? I followed a recipe when I made it, but sometimes recipes aren't exact. So if you're making your cornstarch and it's just a little too hard, I'm going to add, I'm not going to add all this water. And it's cloudy because there's a little cornstarch in it. I'm just going to add a little bit and let Rebecca keep mixing it. So you just go ahead and keep mixing that there, Rebecca. Yeah. Good job. It's actually hard. It's corn starts when it's powder is so soft, and when you start to mix it up, it's incredible how it's even like crumbles. When you break it in your hand, it crumbles, but if you hold it, it starts to melt. 
And that's where you get both of those properties of a liquid and a solid at the same time. That's what makes it so cool. That's what makes it such a unique, a unique item. Because it's not a solid, it's not a liquid. It's both. It is. It has the properties of both a solid and a liquid. Alright, now I think we need more cornstarch. No, actually there's plenty of cornstarch in yeah. there to keep me. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> to keep mixing it. Now, as Rebecca is still mixing this, I'm going to grab a big chunk of it, and she can play with some of this in front of the camera, too. This has a pretty cool name. It's called a non-Newtonian substance. Because it has the properties of both. It can act like a solid, act like a liquid. Actually, Rebecca, this is about the perfect consistency right here. Because it acts like both. So, the last thing we were going to do with our oobleck was Rebecca wanted to add a little bit of food coloring to it. So, you, you add the food coloring since I am. Um... I am going to add the food coloring. Now, if you remember, Rebecca and boys and girls, we noted that we had, we did not have purple food coloring. However, I know if we add a little bit of blue, I don't want to drip it right on your hands, Rebecca. We add a little bit of blue and a little bit of red. Uh-oh, drop the lid of the red in there. Hey, when you do science, sometimes things get messy. We can mix blue and red together, and it's going to make that purple. So I'm going to let Rebecca work on mixing that here a little bit. We will show you. The end result. Yes, we will show you the end result. And don't be alarmed if my hands are bloody. <laughs> well, no, we won't be alarmed. Rebecca's going to keep mixing that up. Try to get your hands underneath it, and maybe you can like hold it up above the bowl. So the boys and girls can kind of watch how it like drips down like that. I actually got most yep. of it. Can you take it and like show them how you can almost like break it too? Yeah, it's pretty cool. You can break it up and you can see all the colors kind of mixing together. I'm going to let Rebe Rebecca keep playing with this. <laughs> Rebecca? <laughs> I know. And she's going to keep playing with her oobleck. And you know, boys and girls, if you have some time over the weekend, maybe you can ask somebody if you can make some oobleck with at home. Or today. Or today. Well, you know, I know some of your some of your moms and dads are home today too with you for the holiday. But that was our Science Saturday. Hey, Just to review before cooking? I say goodbye, we talked about our solids and our liquids. Our cornstarch was our solid. A solid keeps its own shape. A liquid is going to fill in whatever shape container you put it in. Like if you pour water in a glass, it's going to fill in that glass. And the cool part about making oobleck, it's a non-Newtonian substance. It has the property of both solid and liquid at the same time. It's pretty cool. So that's it for Science Saturday. Tune in for next week. We might try to talk about some kind of mixtures. Have a great day, boys and girls. Goodbye.